It took a while to get there, but California Congressman Kevin McCarthy is officially the 55th Speaker of the House. Fox's Alexandria Hoff explains how it came to be after a week of deadlock voting. It took 14 failed votes in tense negotiations to flip more than a dozen holdouts in a final tally that took place well after midnight. It ended with Speaker McCarthy being handed the gavel. He was met with a standing ovation. From the great state of California and the next speaker of the 118th Congress, Kevin McCarthy. That was easy, huh? I never thought we'd get up here. Speaker McCarthy squeezed by with 216 votes. 212 Democrats backed Congressman Hakeem Jeffries. Six Republicans in total voted present. Since they weren't no's, the threshold for a majority was lowered to 215. Now, one moment showed just how impassioned things had become. Right after the 14th vote failure, Congressman elect at the time, Mike Rogers of Alabama, was physically restrained by other members after attempting to confront Congressman Matt Gates. Victory for McCarthy came after that, just one more round later. I may not know all of you, some of you are new, but I hope one thing is clear after this week. I never give up. First matter of business, swearing in of the 118th Congress that was delayed by the stalemate that started Tuesday and was led largely by members of the House Freedom Caucus. That resistance broke down yesterday as McCarthy agreed to key concessions. Pennsylvania Congressman Scott Perry is the Freedom Caucus chair. He changed his vote to support McCarthy in the 12th round. I think what we've shown last night is, yes, we can get there, but we're not going to ignore individual voices because each one of those individual voices represents three quarters of a million Americans and their voice counts too. Perry feels that the agreements made, such as an array of spending cuts and the ability to oust McCarthy more easily, are not concessions but wins for the American people. In Washington, Alexandria Hoff, Fox News.